Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, check out what I got from my buddies at Bolt, Bolt Advance. Let's see what's in the box. Stay tuned. All right, Bolt Advance. So Bolt Tennis Rackets. Uh, they've been around for a little while. Uh, I've known the guys, I want to say, for like four, five, six years now. Uh, we got version two in some of these rackets. I've actually never hit these, um, but they look really, really cool, as you can see. Now, the technology behind the racket is what's called zip strips. As you can see by the, uh, the grommet strip here, it's kind of a detached grommet strip. But it's hooked on actually by the grommet. So as you can see, it bulges out a bit. All right. So as you can see, there is big strips here, right? Big strip at the top. So I'm gonna bring you over here and show you the cross section of the zip strip. It actually looks like that. So the strip actually looks like that on the cross section, right? So what, what is it about the zip strip that's so special? So zip strips equal to, as what the slide says, spring action. So as you can see, there's a reason for why this bulges out a bit right so what does a spring action do well think about a spring think about a like a trampoline what happens when you jump on a trampoline what happens when you jump on let's say a spring right you actually get catapulted um further right but how does it work with um a tennis racket like this well what what does it give you well, first of all, it gives you control, right? It's, it flexes, the technology actually flexes instead of the frame because this whole thing actually springs in, right? Instead of the frame bending. So that's what's gonna give you control. The frame will remain firmer, whereas the strips will be the ones giving. Um, well, what about sweet spot then? Well, because you have strips pretty much in all of the major, I call it the major arteries of the racket. You got 12 o'clock, you got three and nine pretty much covered down, like from, what is that, one to, looks like four, and then 10 to seven, right? That's pretty much covering most of the basic parts of the racket that's important, right? So that basically causes um, a larger, bigger sweet spot. They claim that the whole thing is almost a sweet spot. So nearly the entire string bed is a sweet spot. So that's a pretty bold claim, right? That's a very, very bold claim. Now, what about impact and shock? Well, because it's an external thing that's out here, these uh, zip strips, right? It's probably going to dampen a lot of shock, right? On impact and shock, they claim that it's almost none to zero shock. So that makes sense, right? You kind of have an exoskeleton like this. Um, it should dampen the shock. But how stable is this racket? So again, with the strips and how it springs um, and how the spring action works, right? Now, what about dwell time? I would expect that this racket would act, I mean, they claim that it acts like a spring, right? But what about dwell time? What about dwell time? Well, since they claim that they this racket acts like a spring with spring-like action, um, it should be, it should dwell, um, dwell like hell, right? It should actually spend a lot of time in that string bed and then pocket and then launch out of there so with everything that
Bolt says this, these rackets do. Um, I'm actually very excited to try these. All right, so got my balance board out. Let's start with the light. Three thirty seven. Three thirty seven. Let's check the regular now. Is it floating? It is floating. Look at that. Boom. Okay. So it has to be on that. 333. All right. Let's hit the scale. All right. At the scale. Beep. 316.5. 316.5 on the light. Three twenty two point five swing weight three forty three. Okay, same swing weight. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. All right, let's take a look at the numbers of the Bolt 98 and 98 light. Uh, let's first look at the light. At 316.5 uh, grams, that's not a light racket, but uh, it's a serious racket, though. Uh, so for somebody who wants, like, a regular racket, this light would work. Like somebody like me who wants weight. Um, balance is definitely on the head heavier side. Swing weight shows it. Um, stiffness at 68, which is kind of what I would expect from a racket like that. It's got kind of like pure drive characteristics in that beam. All right, so the 98 is one I'm super excited to try. At 322.5 grams, uh, you know, you guys know I like weight, and this is, uh, this is a lot of weight. Um, balance at 333, so it's a little head lighter. Uh, swing weight stays at 343, which tells me that the balance and the swing weight, this tells me that the weight is somewhere in the middle by the throat, probably towards the handle a little more. That's why these numbers are a little different. But again, this is a heavier racket, so um, they usually tend to do that, as I always keep saying to you. Um, the stiffness is the same at 68, which is what you would expect from a racket like this. So super excited to try that regular 98. But that light's probably not going to be bad, too. Because if I'm when I'm swinging around in here, I feel it. It feels like a club. And I like that a lot. Um, let's take a look at what other characteristics we can find here. So, it's a 16 by 19 string pattern. The beam is a 23 to 23.5. Excuse me. The beam is a 22 to a 23.5. So, it's a slightly tapered beam. Um, again, 68 on the stiffness. Uh, these are regular specs that we talked about already. Uh, yeah, so they, they strung this at 56, 57 the day before Valentine's Day for us. Um, and from what I can see, it's a poly on the main. It's Kirschbaum Evolution 1.25 on the main. 
and it's head synthetic PPS 16 on the cross. And they did it at 56, 57. So, and it looks like they did it to both of these. So, and they got, they put dampeners on it too for even more dampening. So, um, excited to take these out on the court. So I'm going to rustle up some pros and, uh, hit with these. All right. I'll see you on the court. All right, guys. So we're on the court with these Bolt 98 version two rackets. Got the light version and the regular version. We're going to test them out. All right, guys, so we just got off the court on this cold night with these bolt rackets. Coach Goo, what did you think of that 98 light? Uh, surprisingly, it felt really well. Um, super, I didn't expect it, to, like this thing is really random here. I don't know what it is, but it does actually dampen the racket. So it feels like a countervail, like if you know the Wilson countervails. So people who have like a little bit of arm issues and definitely have tennis elbow, um, they actually would consider this racket because, you know, it dampens the vibration, but also it gives you that leeway, that head power to go through. Um, overall, it feels great, feels solid. Um, the weight transfer is great on this. And honestly, if you're into something that want to try out something unique, because this is definitely a unique racket, try it out. It's actually not a bad racket. Pretty much enjoyed it. All right. Coach Chris, what'd you think of that one? Yeah, so immediately I felt like I was hitting this. It didn't really feel like a 98. It felt a little bit of a bigger frame size. It felt like a 100. It reminds me of playing with the pure drive a bit more. Um, it is uh, uh, a little a little bit on the lighter side, but I found that as kind of I have a little bit of a uh, on the forehand, a little bit more of a, a loop on the swing. Um, I just felt like this was also really good in terms of that. I did get a lot of feel too as well with this playing with this racket. Um, it did sort of dampen um, a bit. Um, so it does remind me of what Kuchiku was saying, the countervail. Um, but overall, a really fun racket, a new racket to try out. And definitely, you know, I recommend um, people looking at Bolt to try it out and uh, hit a few with this. So, yeah. Um, I personally thought that I agree with them that it was a little on the lighter side. I mean, it was perfect for Coach Chris with his little swing style there. Um, but I, I thought it was a little light, as Coach Goo thought, but um, great racket overall. It did exactly what it's supposed to do, is dampen. Um, very little vibration. Uh, Coach Goo's arm was actually hurting, and uh, you, didn't, you didn't feel anything, did you? Yeah, it was like counterbear, like I said. Yeah. Pretty so much dampened everything. Took out a lot of shock, didn't feel a thing. You got arm problems, this light might be good for you. All right, so we're going to test... We just tested out the 98.2 in the regular version two. Coach Goo, what did you think of that regular? I honestly thought this regular felt the perfect way for me. Uh, it did have a dampening. It's still dampened, which is nice. Um, honestly, it's perfect for me because I like to swing through my ball more. I like to feel more a little more head weight. Um, honestly, for what it is, um, like I said, if you want to have power and still control and a little more heaviness without the ra with the racket. But without the dampening, or without sorry, without the vibration being an issue, like this is a perfect racket for you guys. Um, really easy on the arm. You definitely get the heaviness of the racket, and it, I feel like I could swing around around those corners easily without any pain. All right, Coach Chris, what did you think of that? Yeah, so I definitely this racket I could see it appealing more towards the advanced type club players who are looking to maybe have a go at something new and try it out. Um, this one uh, is definitely also, I can see how I, it's very uh, good in terms of like dampening too as well, so you don't have any of those elbow injuries. As I was hitting it, I didn't feel any like feedback or any shock like that hitting through it. 
Um, this racket too as well is pretty res responsive. So as I, as I was hitting, um, it felt like a very um, kind of like the Aer um, the AeroPro kind of if I were to compare it to uh, one of the Babolat rackets out there. Um, and overall, yeah, I definitely recommend striking with you with this too as well. If you're in the mood to try to take a look at um, another racket other than you know the ones that we have out there right now currently in the market. Great feeling racket, great, great dwell time on this racket. The whole thing felt like a sweet spot. So something unique for you, something that will alleviate your tennis elbow. Give this racket a shot. Give this racket a try. Uh, in this 98 square inch head with this type of weight, Coach Chris is right. This is for that kind of more intermediate advanced level player that plays with like a pure strike, if not like a blade or something like that, because there is a good amount of weight in this 98 head. So give it a shot, guys. I know you guys probably never heard of it, but uh, check out the technology um, at boltadvance.com. All right. Uh, I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Goo? You can find me at agu.tennis. So I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Chris. Where can we find you, Chris? Find me CV Chen, C H I N Tennis. Perfect. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.